Mark's out there eating lunch. Well, I got the snacks. If you're from the East Coast, and I've learned this since I moved out here, boiled peanuts is the rage. So I got my man Brian Harvey here. Busy Bee House of Honey, which is actually kind of how you got started. Right. And that's what you're known for. So well, there's honey. You can see all of that. But I want to talk about these boiled peanuts. So I moved to North Carolina, and I, I kept seeing boiled peanuts, boiled peanuts. I'm like, ah. Then I move here, boiled peanuts is a whole nother animal. Right. And what you're doing, man. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk about Berea, but before we get into all of that that goes into that, how many different styles? And give me a little background on what you do, how you came okay. up with this. So with the peanuts, I do regular, Cajun. We do a uh, shrimp boiled peanut that I'll show you a little later. And then the Berea concept. It just came out of nowhere. I love Berea tacos. And who doesn't love tacos and who doesn't love peanuts? So I didn't even know you could do that kind of stuff with peanuts. I met somebody that kind of introduced me. And then I've seen some of uh, your pictures and stuff. And I'm like, uh, that is ridiculous. Awesome. So, well, there's a honey, too. So you can get the peanuts and the honey. But do you have a background in chefing or whatever? Or how um, did this come up? I'm just a chef train, a cook train myself. All right. Been doing this since I was like 18. Uh, and I just love peanuts. Yeah, and that's something, I mean, who just comes up and is like, you know what, I want to make the best boiled peanuts and take the recipes to another level. So with that, I'm looking at all this, like my boiled peanuts, I just throw them in a pot, salt and whatever. I mean, and I'm not boiling peanuts. We've already seen that. But what you're doing, I mean, what all are we working here with here? All right, so with the burrito, we start with a, a variety of uh, authentic uh, Latino or Mexican peppers like ancho and guarro. Uh, we got some arbil peppers. We drop all of this uh, carrots in there to give it a sweetness. A little bit of meat. Uh, some people use goat meat, but I actually like to use uh, roast beef. So I just kind of like throw that in there. And then we season it up. Uh, saison and uh, some uh, onion powder, garlic powder, a little white pepper. And uh, we throw some more carrot in there. Boil that out with some garlic, about a clove and a half, usually about a whole onion, some uh, bay leaf. You gotta have bay leaf. <laughs> I know it's a lot, but it's worth it, trust me. I'm not hating on it at all. Like, you guys, <laughs> if you're in the studio, we need some smell of vision because you can smell all of this coming together. But I mean, you were putting in a lot of work and a lot of ingredients and offering people like a whole nother flavor profile. And I'm sure people, when they first came to you, were they like kind of shocked? Yeah, like uh, your, your colleague, she came up there for just a regular bull peanut. And I was like, hey, I, bull peanuts are cool, but let me make it cooler for you. Yeah. So I said, I got the Berea. She's like, Berea, what? <laughs> and she's like, I've never heard of that, never seen it. I was like, I've kind of never heard of it either. So that's why I started doing it. And uh, anyway, it just turned into this. The flavors are bold, rich, delightful, and delicious. I'll take it. Well, I'm not going to take I'm going to try it. So, all right, so we got some peanuts over here. Are these up for mix? Yes, okay. yes. So, got a couple of peanuts. This is what I do when I'm out uh, on, in Nocatee on Phillips Highway. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, shrimp bowl for the shrimp bowl peanuts. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get some burrito going here. All right. I just simply add the meat to it. It's been cooking for about an hour overnight. It's been on low, so it's really tender and delicious. We cook the peanuts in the consomme, which I mean, gives it a delightful flavor. So I'm getting all of this. I mean, I'm almost like, why do we even want to get to the peanut? And most people don't. Some people say, you know what? Instead of peanuts, give it to me on ramen. Oh. So I'll throw it in ramen instead of peanuts. Oh, I like that too. So what we do is take a little onion, Green onion, some lime, you gotta have lime for that great flavor. Put a little cilantro in there, break it up real nice. Try to make it as pretty as possible in 38 seconds or less. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on, no, oh wait, I had to find a fork. No. Right. <laughs> I was like, oh, I gotta be able and to And then it. you can't go wrong with some crumble queso. Jeez. It's delightful and delicious. So I also learned from my first boiled peanut experience, you're not supposed to eat the shell. Who knew? Hey. <laughs> But it's tasty. I mean, so, all right, I'm making a little bit yeah, of you Get you a little bit of that meat. Right. Try that peanut with the consomme on it. 
Oops. Yeah, See, that's I'm, great. I'm just breaking it down. Throwing a little, all right, so I got a little peanut in there. I'm getting in that meat. Yeah. The cheese. Look at all of that, y'all. crazy. All right, so there's lunch. Um, all right. Okay. All right. All right. He didn't practice tell, that. He tell, didn't practice tell them, that. Tell them where, the, where they can find you. Can they find you on social as well? Yeah, uh, Busy Be House of Honey. Uh, you can look me up or other company up by Busy Brian mm -hmm. or Busy Be House. I'm on Phillips Highway at Nocatee, right before you get to Racetrack Road if you're coming from Jacksonville. So it's really good stuff. We're there. Oh, we're making uh, right. crazy drinks uh, with honey. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I, we're going to revisit you, my man. We're going to talk about that honey in these. But uh, I got lunch. I'm not sharing. We'll have more River City Live right after this.